There's a very cool facility in the DBMS X-Plan package, which comes in very useful when you're doing uh, emergency fixes. You've got a SQL performance problem and you need to do an emergency fix uh, in your environment. To explain this, we need to go back a first bit and talk about the, I suppose, the famous uh, concept of the optimizer deciding not to honor your hints. So I'll turn on SQL Auto Trace and put up a classic query of just joining employee to department. And you can see because I've got Auto Trace turned on, I end up with a merge join. I may have been out on the intertubes in the blogosphere and read somewhere that hash joins are all the rage. And so what do I do? I look up in the SQL manual for the hints and I find the use hash hint. So I redo my SQL and this time I'll add the use hash hint to make sure I do a hash join on the department table. And of course, I get very frustrated when the net result is still a merge hint. Now, the full reason behind this, I'll add in a video. I talk about it in more detail here or here somewhere, depending on where YouTube points it. But in a nutshell, the use hash on department table means if I started with the employee table, I should hash join into the department table. In this case, we started with the department table, and so the hint does not really apply. Hence, we still get the merge join. The solution then becomes to make sure I start with the employee table. So I add a leading hint, which means I end up with employee first, then into the department, and therefore the use hash hint now gets obeyed because it makes sense. And in general, that's the story with hints. If hints are being ignored, they might be invalid. There might be other reasons. See my other video. But often it just means you needed to put more hints in. But as I said, that's covered in more detail in my other video. The key thing here is, let's say I'm now happy with that plan. Using a hash join has solved my performance problem. I now need to put this into, say, my production application. I need to quickly get it in there to make sure that hint solves the problem I've got. It's like a triage kind of activity. The question is, was two hints really enough? Yes, it solves my problem here, but maybe when I get into full production, maybe there's some other optimization mechanism that could still be applicable that defeats my hash join. Really, I want a more complete set of hints to make sure that the optimizer can't wiggle its way out of it, so to speak. That's where this cool option in DBMS X-Plan comes in. When I do an explain plan, I can now go ahead when I'm doing DBMS display and add the plus outline option to the format parameter. Now my execution plan comes out as before, plus a full hint spec that would map to an outline if we were to store one for this SQL statement. Now, that doesn't mean we have to go create an outline, but I've got that list of complete hints now. For emergency code fixes, that's perfect. I literally just cut and paste that hint spec, blast it into my SQL. Now, if I run that same SQL with the full hint spec through explain plan, you can see it comes out using a hash function. And because I've given a complete set of hints, there's no way known the optimizer is going to wiggle away from that. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not me saying that this is the way to tune all your SQLs and you end up with an application that is littered with dozens of hints in every single SQL statement. But this is a great option for triage, emergency fixes. Find the plan you want, get the exact list of hints you need, blast that in, and now you've got plenty of time because the, the crisis is over, you've got plenty of time to now work on the root cause. Was it stats? Was it something else? You can now do that investigative analysis. If after all of that, you still need to add some hints in there. Rather than leaving hints in, you would be looking at getting the correct plan and locking it into place with SQL plan management. I've always said the optimal number of hints in an application is zero. At least this way though, you can do emergency triage, keep your users happy, and then have that time to go do the thorough analysis that you would normally do to make sure your application works fine and is still hint free. So check out the plus outline parameter for format. It's gonna save you a lot of SQL performance headaches.